So I'm Philip Curry and this is a new way to bake a red berry tart. Make the most of summer with this bountiful tart, frangipan, creme patissiere, red berry jam, topped with fruit. It's a showstopper. So the tart case is par baked and I'm going to just set it aside and I'm going to leave the oven on while we prepare the frangipan. We want to start with our almonds, sugar, cornstarch and plain flour. These are essentially our dry ingredients, which we're going to pulse to a powder. For a small batch like this one, the neutral bullet will do a great job. But if you were making a larger quantity for say the Bakewell, I definitely recommend a larger blender or food processor. So to finish, we are adding our plant-based milk, a little bit of olive oil, some vanilla paste and some lemon zest. Just now, we just want to blend this until creamy. There we have it, just taken on a creamy, kind of nutty texture. Now, I always use almonds with the skin on, I just think they have a really good flavor. Um, and it lets us have that kind of marzipan -y flavor that we love in frangipan without uh, having to add almond extracts. So you can either pipe the frangipan into the tart. I'm just going to spoon it in. Now you can either use a spoon to spread it. But I'm just going to grab a palette knife, one of my favorite tools. I'm just spreading this into the base of my tart. It should come up about halfway. We're gonna cover this in jam and custard and lovely fresh fruits. Now we just wanna bake this for about 20 minutes. All right, now to assemble our tart, we've got our fully cooled tart case with the frangipan inside. We have our creme patissiere, which is cooled down. You see it has quite a set texture. So we're just gonna take to it with a whisk. It will eventually become quite smooth. Now if I was assembling multiples of this, I would definitely use a piping bag, but today it's okay that I'm just using a pallet knife. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're about to cover it all with strawberries. Now the other thing that we have, this lovely strawberry jam that we prepared. So you see that it has a very nice, beautiful and vibrant color. And the gel is just set. It has kind of a, so we can just spoon that on. Spreading this all the way to the edges. And then I have strawberries, which I've just uh, cut the trimmed and then quartered. And I'm doing a kind of one over, one in pattern all the way around the edges. I like to do this with the biggest strawberries that I have. And this just creates a nice border around the whole tart. It's a great way of using up the larger strawberries in your punnets. And then we can start to just arrange these, working our way from the edges in. This really is a celebration of summer and we want it to be loaded full of fresh fruit. And I like to just overlap these in different uh, front and forward and Got the selection with some fresh raspberries to break things up. Just gently, just working my way around, just filling the gaps with raspberries. Lots of raspberries. So I've got some strawberries that with where I've left the greens on, just for a little bit of green. And I've cut those in half. 
and I'm also cutting some of the firmer raspberries in half with a serrated knife just to show off their beautiful insides. To lock the freshness in and hold the fruits in place, I'm just gently applying our exotic hot glaze by just gently dabbing it across all of our fruits. Now you want to do this gently but also quite thoroughly, so especially where there is any exposed fruit. And for a final touch, I just have some tiny sprigs of basil. Basil or mint will work great. And there we have it, our best of British summer.